That's it. I'm basically playing now Mustang Scorpion. And this is a level 7 carry Mustang with 200% extra damage. So technically it is 21 levels worth of Mustang damage. Anyhow, everything here gets annihilated. Even the Rhinos cannot, cannot stand up to the combined firepower of two level 2 Scorpions with range and double shots and all of the other units supporting them. That said, this still is a very scary wave. Stat-wise, uh, it is starting to become ultra scary with level 4. And the differential targeting, or however you want to call it, is enough to take out both towers once again. My ally is losing his army to Scorpions and Phoenixes. I think even the tower debuff didn't do much uh, uh, in the light of this. But I won the fight. And I do have some units left over. Uh, especially now these Phoenixes have range and levels. They are able to take out the Scorpion here. But they are up against a lot of Scorpions. However, this leveled Scorpion with Amp is enough to stop the phoenixes from being taken out or at least all of the phoenixes from being taken out so there's one level two phoenix up against a level uh what is this level four scorpion and level two scorpion wolf range it is a very slow process even if they had survived both of them and a phoenix we would not have been dead yet but of course i would very much so like to save the hp and do at least 100 damage to my opponents Phoenix ends up taking the round. But the real carry was that Scorpion surviving enough Phoenix shots to make one of the Phoenixes survive. Because my opponent's Phoenixes have Elite. They counter my Phoenixes. Nenene goes for Typhoons. Both I and Tarambe are going for Hackers. And I think it was Speed Specialist for Binary. Oh no, Tank Production Line it would seem. I know that's, that's Nene. Uh, what did he pick? I'm actually not sure what he picked. It's gone so quickly. I'm going for EMP on the Phoenixes. Because while they won't do anything to these Rhinos under the Photon, uh, they can turn off the range of the Wraith and make it a lot slower. They can turn off the range here. And now kind of the critical point has arrived. An advantage when you have Scorpions is that uh, if your opponent shields, it's not going to matter a lot. Because the Scorpions will just annihilate the shield before the combat power drops. Now Nene finally, finally had enough. He's dropping triple missile here to slow the advance of whatever wants to come. Or is that even... No, that's one of our opponents. Fortresses here have triple attacks, but no levels. Probably because they always get insta-locked on by the melting points. I do end up trying to do whatever I can with these crawlers. Hackers here are supposed to deal uh, uh, or to hack some at least of these rhinos. I'm not sure. I guess my opponent wants to hack some scorpions. Now watch at this and boom. Shields are gone. Fire lance. I love it. All of the shields here have already gone down. I guess uh, uh, the fang production is keeping these units from being locked on to instantly. After all. But Chaff there with the Typhoons is actually quite a bit better now uh, uh, for my ally here, I guess. I absolutely positively obliterate my opponent's army. There is no doubt about who won this side. I guess I'm losing more units to the fire than my opponent, if I had to guess. Anyhow, hackers did get taken out. I think the hacker didn't go f or didn't get anything uh, uh, valuable. One scorpion here. Trying to move in on some of these uh, Mustangs here. But all in all, under a tower debuff, my Phoenixes are advancing. And uh, they have EMP as well. So if they can't kill a Phoenix in one shot, I guess it doesn't really matter in this specific fight. Because mostly they are able to do. But even then, the opponent's Phoenix would no longer have uh, any sort of, um, you know, range or damage bonuses. Once again... I end up taking out the opponent's phoenixes with one phoenix alive, but this time I have some scorpions alive as well. Now these mustangs down here, um, let's check on them after we see the choices. Attack specialist uh, for both of these players and um, 
I went for what is it for underground threat. Yeah, just doing some distracting, I think is worth it at this point. Shield on the Phoenixes to help win the Phoenix War in case it comes down to that. My opponent does not have Phoenix uh, shields. I really would have expected Quantum Reassembly to come out. But I guess the EMP will take care of that as well. It's the last round probably, so buying out is absolutely worth it. And here is level 8 Mustangs with advanced firepower control system and anti-air specialization. Um, if they level once again, this is going to be the highest DPS possible for Mustangs. Or almost. I could still, instead of Missile Interceptor, have AP. Then they would be doing 50% more. At that point, the Mustangs would be dealing so much damage, it would probably break the game in half. Like this is carry Mustangs having an absolute field day against Giants. <laughs> Let's watch these guys. Let's watch these guys, because I think this is the last round. Yeah, these shields, good luck with them. They are not going to do much uh, against double shot Scorpions and carry Mustangs. I'm surprised my opponent does not have fire of any variety. I have some late uh, Mustangs here. Which I think is a decent choice. In a desperate move, he tries to get his... Ah, uh, the leg. He tries to get these units away, but uh, the hacker locks on. And does end up getting at least one of these. I should probably slow the game down a bit so you guys can't even see anything. That is not going to last, but it does take attention away from my units. Now, um, I wanted to watch these units, but just look at how they are evaporating the sledges. And then even some of them locking onto this melting point ends up being a very, very quick piece of work. The scorpions are doing so much damage, and mass scorpion against ground is just OP. If you let it come to that point. These Mustangs could not level next round, which is unfortunate, unless maybe the Hacker, yeah. So next round they could have been level 9 with advanced firepower control system, but yeah, it's over. It is officially over. That melting point, by the way, is level 6. I didn't notice, but wow. And look at how much damage the Phoenixes are dealing. They still get it dead. Not that it matters. I had basically uh, like 75% it feels like of my army survive and uh, yeah my uh, ally here also won his side almost almost wow so that is a level 6 melting point and a level 8 mustang the melting point with added range and triple tech and the mustang here two, two tags and uh, advanced firepower control system uh, yeah I guess it's sort of proxy uh, uh, Melter Mustang. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of a close call. 715 HP, we still could have taken a modest loss, but uh, uh, in 2v2, this can be extremely swingy. 11 rounds in 2v2, also not bad. And uh, yeah, Scorpion Mustang absolutely ruling if your opponent, for whatever reason, neglects fire. I think some Firestorm Callers would have been in order. That said, these Mustangs have as much HP as some Sledges. Almost, at least. I think without uh, um, the, uh, what's it called, the Heavy Armor Specialist and the Defense Enhance. Actually, let me, let me just check. Because I can see how much health they will have. Uh, unit modification, Sledgehammer. Base health is 3,478. 3,478. And these Mustangs have... Uh, ever so slightly less if I give them another level they have, will have more. I guess you need level 9 Mustangs with Heavy Armor Specialist and one level of health to match level 1 Sledges. That's just how crazy it is. But at this point these guys wouldn't even care that much about fire. They could stay in fire for a decent amount of time. So you could kinda not really have these um, countered with fire alone. These are level 4. Even they did really good amounts of work. I guess they must have dealt really good amounts of damage to the rhinos and the uh, raves. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and listening, um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. Until next time, everybody.